funny, knowing how to cook is a privilege. It is a privilege. And the men, they love it, okay? A man loves when a woman cooks for him. Don't let him fool you. Mm -hmm. Don't let him fool you saying that, oh, I don't care if you don't know how to cook. We can always hire a chef. BS, they're lying to you, okay? You out there wondering, how are these women keeping their, their husbands? You know how they're still married after so many years? Food is a big part of it. Food is a big part of eggs, okay? A wife who knows how to cook, honey, I'm telling you, you can learn how to cook. If you don't know how to cook, that's not my problem. Because you can learn, okay? You can learn how to cook. And I'm proud of that. I know how, honey, my food. Let me just brag. If y'all gotta brag sometimes. Oh, I'm the best. I am the best cook. And I'm in the kitchen here, cooking a lot of food. You know how I do? I cook to cook. I am so nice. I cook for everybody. I don't even know why. <laughs> but yeah, getting ready to go to my father's land. Something is getting prepared, huh? Sorry I didn't share the recipe with you today. I was super busy, super, super busy. And mind you, I work tomorrow, so this is not easy. But yeah, we're about to make some... Uh, we're gonna barbecue. My father lives like an hour and 20 minutes away, so it's always exciting to go see him. You know what I mean? So when I go see him, honey, I cook. Okay, I put it down. I put my foot down, like always. If you don't know how to cook, that's not my problem. Okay, learn. We're about to make the sauce for our uh our salted fish okay a little bit of oil that's enough yeah let's see mm -hmm. a little bit of oil let me see here that's how you you know how much oil you have okay so i'm satisfied because i don't want to do a lot some people do more oil i don't i'll put more water so i have my stove here in a low heat I'm waiting for it to be uh, to be warm enough so that I can fry the ingredients that I'm about to show you. Okay, you pour that on top of your salted fish and honey, <laughs> honey, learn how to cook. This is my salt fish. Okay, I've already fried them real good without any excess oil so i'm about to make my sauce so i can put it on top of my salt fish learn how to cook so this is what i have for the little sauce i'm going to do for my salt fish so i have quite a bit of onion okay i have a little bit of okra yeah what you know about that i have some orange bell pepper i have some habanero pepper okay just one to bring that spiciness okay and I'm about to fry them here, okay? And I'm going to put a little bit of salt, okay? Just a little tiny bit of salt because salt fish is already salted. Pepper, you know, pepper. As African people, we love pepper. And people are tasting your pepper and they're like, what is this taste? How come is this pepper tasting so good? And this is only pepper, honey because we are about to fry a little bit uh-huh you see that a little bit of oil honey people are like what is this, is this pepper coming from heaven <laughs> no honey it's not coming from heaven we're just doing it right okay we are just doing it right okay so i have my heat here at very low it's very low heat okay and I'm about to have my pepper, okay, that I just blended, I just blended, and what did I put inside, okay, so this pepper has a little bit of salt, a little bit of um, ginger root, fresh, fresh, fresh ginger root, 
please i'm not talking about the powder bs that you buy from the store i'm talking about fresh ginger root so it has a little bit of ginger root a little bit of salt and i'm about to fry this baby here it's going to preserve the pepper longer okay it's going to be preserving it very very long and the taste hey i'm saying it again if you don't know how to cook that's your own business honey not mine i must warn you though this is not this part honey you are going to cough okay it may make you cough a little bit <laughs> because it's so strong okay this is pepper this is habanero pepper so it's very 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 strong so be ready okay turn your uh your range hood your range hood on for the smell you know what i mean but yeah it's gonna be very spicy here very very spicy just just like that we are going to be frying it okay for about takes about seven minutes okay about seven minutes that's it okay and then your pepper is gonna be ready and you can you can store it you know uh, you can store it in the fridge and it's going to last super long and it's going to be super tasty I dare you to eat this I dare you I double dare you eat this and if you won't be screaming outside <laughs> you're gonna be screaming okay because this is pure fresh habanero pepper habanero pepper is so fresh and it's so spicy you out there serving people food and people are eating food and it's like it's like am i eating rubber am i eating a cardboard what is this honey you gotta bring flavor to your food we need flavor okay when you're serving people food, they have to be tasting flavor every in every food, even in pepper. Yes, even with pepper, we have we have to have flavor. Okay, I've showed you. Don't say that Ladi didn't show you. I just showed you how you can bring so much flavor in your pepper. Okay, so a little bit of oil, a little bit of um, ginger root, a little bit of salt and you fry it okay that's it that's that is it okay until it takes about seven minutes after seven minutes it's going to be a little bit more uh condensated a little bit more concentrated and then you'll be ready mm -hmm. and what do we have here yes hon we have some orange bell papa some orange bell pepper and some onions I'm gonna make this very spicy yummy sauce that we are going to put on top of the salted fish feel me mm, baby oh thank you I, I always I'm like every time I cook and every every time people eat my food and I see the look on their faces I'm like thank you mama thank you mama Chantal for mama, teaching me how to cook okay Woo! Ah. Mm -hmm. We are making some salt fish. Honey, what you know about salt fish? Honey, if you've never tried before, woo! You are missing out big time, boo boo. Big, big time. Just a bit of salt so we can bring a lot of flavor. And I'll put a little bit of nutmeg. Mm -hmm. And I'm about to test my oil. Okay, so I'm going to have one onion here. Let's see. So this is ready. We can put the rest of the stuff inside. It is jumping, honey. It is jumping. All right. And right away, I'm going to be sharing my 
onion. Mm-hmm. Learn how to cook. Okay, I'm going to be putting a little bit of salt. Just like that, okay? That's good. And don't forget to also put a little bit of garlic. Very important, okay? One garlic is good. Okay, you, do you see how my onions are getting softer? They're getting very, very soft right now. And I haven't added no water yet. Okay, I'll add a little bit of water later. But everything has to be getting soft first with so much flavor, okay? So, I'm going to be adding a little bit of nutmeg. Mm-hmm. This is just for our salted fish, okay? So a bit of nutmeg. Isn't this pretty? This is so pretty. A bit of nutmeg. That's good, okay? Just like that. Okay, you gotta learn how to cook. So now I'm going to be adding a little bit of water, okay? Because it's starting to stick a little bit to the pot, so I'll add, add a little bit of water. Voila, okay? A bit of water. And I'm going to keep doing this until everything is has softened, okay? All of my onions are soft, okra are soft, peppers are soft, just the way I want it, okay? Once everything is soft, then it's going to be done, okay? The process takes about 10 to 12 minutes, okay? So it has to be soft. Don't be serving people some rough, raw onions. Uh, not everyone loves raw onions. I do. I love raw onions, but not everyone does. So make sure everything is soft. You know, the taste is going to be better. Okay? They have to be mang mangled together. Okay? They have to mangle. You know, you're out there cooking food with separation. Huh? Like, like when we were in the pandemic, uh, what was it? What was it called? Social distancing. There you go. You out there cooking food that <laughs> food that is social distancing. You have onions aside, peppers aside, everything aside, honey. Everything has to be mixed together. Everything has to be together. Okay. Stop cooking like you have lost your mind, honey. You gotta cook. Honey, we are done, okay? This is exactly what I wanted. This texture. God, I can't talk today. This texture. <laughs> this is it. So now we are going to be putting it on top of our salt fish. Mm-hmm. Just like that, honey. Just like that, honey. Yes. Woo, baby, the taste of this is incredible, okay? And when I make food, honey, everyone, a any culture loves it, okay? This is just not for Africans, no. This is for everyone, okay? Any culture, once they taste this, they will be amazed. Mm-hmm. If you don't know how to cook, honey, that is not my problem, okay? Not my problem. Learn how to cook. Learn how to cook. Look at that, huh? Looks like water. But this is not water. These are solar panels. Miles and miles and miles. Mm -hmm. Look at all this. We are here at my dad's land. We have just arrived. 
this is like five acres it's real big okay real real big five acres how much is that oh, that's big kevin that's so big is it a mile it's a makeup free day for my makeup. Hi guys! Hello! Where's Kevin? Where's <laughs> Blaze? Seth is so tired. Yeah. We're getting ready to feast, okay? I cooked a lot of food. Yes, I did. I'm tired. I cooked. I always cook. Always cook like a slave, man. I'm kidding. That's my dad about to open the gates. You see that? Mm -hmm. One day this is going to be automatically done, huh? <laughs> How beautiful. This is so beautiful. Like, my dad's land has such beautiful nature and the air is so good like a good quality air i just love it i love coming in here yeah this is how we do it this is how we do it this chicken is full of flavor first of all it's organic organic chicken okay organic african chicken organic african chicken full of flavor we are here at my father's place my father's land he has a big land it's like five acres five acres so big mm -hmm. so yeah i cooked a lot of food guys i'm going to present you what i cooked all by myself all by myself all by all by my i feel myself mm. okay this is not working i'll fix it mm -hmm. all by myself all by myself yes i'm proud yeah yeah put it down i cooked and my lips keeps on drying today i have dry lips today and i'm i've tried but that's my father's place. Let me see if I can get it. It wasn't easy huh, to build from scratch, you know. It's still in progress. Honey. All right. I, I, I have to be honest. I was super tired, okay. It is not easy to be a mother, a wife, a, a, and you have a job, a full-time job. And you cook, you know, that's that's a lot of food, guys. That is a lot of food for only one person to cook. You know what I mean? That's a lot of food. I have to admit, the fufu that you see there, that fufu, that African fufu, I did not cook the fufu this time, okay? I did not cook the fufu. But everything else, honey, I did. Mm -hmm. Everything else I 